We also had uh, a death uh, connected to an assisted living facility uh, in Broward County. This is a 77-year-old male who had significant underlying medical problems. Um, there's an investigation underway. Department Sadly, the death toll in Broward County is expected to rise as a result of the virus. Fort Lauderdale's mayor just said two more deaths are suspected cases of coronavirus. CBS 4's Joan Marie is live in Fort Lauderdale with the latest on that investigation. Joan. Well, this story is changing minute by minute, and we are all affected. Good news is at this point, all the stores remain open, like this Target is going to be open till midnight, but you will encounter shortages, as we have found throughout the county. But the latest development is this death at a nursing home that was confirmed by the governor, and the mayor of Fort Lauderdale is saying it is even worse. The coronavirus hitting Broward hardest. More cases here than any other Florida county. And now it's turned deadly. The mayor of Fort Lauderdale believes three deaths at two different assisted living facilities are linked to the coronavirus. One died here at the Atria Willow Wood facility. This is a 77 year old male who had significant underlying medical problems. Um, there's an investigation underway. The Department of Health sent a strike team last evening upon becoming aware of the individual's positive test result uh, and then work through the night to check on every other member of the facilities. So all individuals at the facilities are isolated and are being evaluated. The regional vice president of Willow Wood telling residents and families there are four other residents in the hospital being tested. As a precaution, all residents are restricted to their apartments and all group activities, including group dining, are suspended. Elsewhere in Broward County, stores are open, but shoppers continue to encounter shortages in paper products and disinfectants. Public supermarkets have cut their hours and close at 8 p.m. Many spring breakers headed a little north to Lauderdale by the Sea, where we found Cody Lake and Andrew Agavona visiting from University of Tennessee. We drove up. keep migrating. I mean, it's not really going to stop me doing anything. Yeah. Wherever the open beaches are is where we'll be. It won't be here. Late Tuesday, Lauderdale by the Sea voted to close its beaches along with Pompano and Deerfield Beach. While social distancing is urged, the Falcon Pub in Davie is open for their last hurrah, um, their annual St. Patrick's Day celebration. Transfer. We have St. Patty's Day for our patrons. We put out a lot to get here, and then um, we look to break even at the end of the day. Um, we do this once a year for our patrons who support us all year long. And of course, as we know, the governor has ordered all restaurants and bars closed for 30 days. Now, once again, stores remain open. As we told you, this target is open till midnight, but you will encounter some shortages as you go around. Um, as for the beaches north of Fort Lauderdale, that closure begins tomorrow morning. In Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.